This book is called W is for Washington. This is connected to our work in I Know My State. It is written by kids, for kids. Written by kids, for kids. Oh, and there's that fruit we looked at before. State app, state fruit, the apple. Oh, space needle. W is for Washington. A is for apple. Each bite is so juicy and so sweet. The Washington taste is hard to beat. B is for baseball. Fun in the sun while playing the best game. Washington teams know the meaning of fame. C is for cougar. A fierce wild cat or a team playing ball. Watch the cougars against the huskies in the apple cup this fall. D is for dragonfly. The bug of Washington, the dragonfly, it darts and dives, it's magic in the sky. We talked about that before, too. E is for eagle, the symbol of freedom, our country's core. Over mountains through valleys, watch it soar. F is for fairy, pushing slowly across the water with all their might. Carrying cars and people from morning till night. Hauling cars and people. G is for goldfinch. The goldfinch is our beautiful state bird. They fly overhead where their chirps can be heard. And that was that bird we learned about before. Goldfinch. H is for husky. In purple and gold, this is a mascot of might. When out in the field, they give other teams a fright. I is for indigenous people. Indigenous people, natives you see, they were here on this land before you and me. And that's connected to that idea on the last two pages of our work looking at different tribes. And we did that work earlier today too. J is for Strait of Juan de Fuca. The Strait of Juan de Fuca with water so blue is home to salmon, seals, and orca whales, too. K is for Kayak. Moving swiftly away from the ground. Gliding silently across Puget Sound. Swiftly. L is for Lake. In water that is green and blue, fish like to swim, and people, too. M is for marmot. Furry little critter lives in the rocks, quick on its feet and sneaky as a fox. And here's a picture of that mammal we learned about before, the marmot. N is for national park. Green trees, blue lakes, and wildflowers growing. They're lovely when it's sunny and when it's snowing. O is for Olympia, the capital of the evergreen state, where laws are made and officials debate. P is for Pike Place Market. Good times will be had where the fish fly free, fresh produce from farmers grown locally. Q is for Quamash, eaten by natives in times long ago. With their petals of blue, they continue to grow. R is for Rainforest. Showers of raindrops blanket the trees. Moss-covered branches sway in the breeze. S is for Space Needle. At 605 feet high, when you're on top, you can touch the sky. T is for trout. They swim and splash and jump about. In rainbow hues, 
with pointy snouts. U is for umbrella. When the sun hides and the rain comes to play, use an umbrella and stay dry all day. V is for volcano. Kaboom! The sleeping giant finally awoke and filled the air with ash and smoke. W is for Wenatchee, located in the heart of Washington, nestled in a valley, bathed in the sun. X is for extremes. The forests wet, the desert hot and dry, the valleys low, the snowy mountains high. Y is for Yakima Valley. Apples, cherries, and tons of grapes. We grow fruits of every size and shape. Z is for zoo. If you're looking for fun, head to the Woodland Park Zoo. See what the zebras, lions, and bears are up to. <clears throat> and here's some pages that show some information about each word that we saw in that book. Some facts about the great state of Washington. And this is the Gail, thank you to Gail Northcutt, that's the name of the person, and the English department at Wenatchee High School. But most of all, thanks to the students at Wenatchee High School who contributed their poetry. And here's a picture of all of those students who contributed to the writing of this book. Thanks to all of you for all of these wonderful poems in here. And that's our book for the day. Thanks. Thanks for visiting Washington.